I know I'm in a dangerous place here in Chicago because I'm standing between you and food. <laughs> you can store wa watermelon on the counter instead of in the fridge. You may know that when you store watermelon in the fridge, the rind kind of pits and the flesh, if it's open, turns sort of orangey pink. Well, that's the beta carotene and the lycopene going away. But if you store watermelon on the counter for a week or two weeks, this is a USDA study, interestingly, you actually increase the beta carotene by 139% and the lycopene by 40%. Simple, everything, everyday ways to cook a little bit differently, store a little bit differently, and actually eat a little bit differently, which make a big difference in your health. 80% of all cancer is actually preventable with what you eat, with medication, and with exercise. The point is, people who drink coffee have fewer gallstones, less Alzheimer's, less Parkinson's, less liver cancer for sure, and less diabetes. Higher health care costs, everybody sees that here every day. Climate change, cause of, is that from anti-nutrients? Well, yeah, there's a connection. Who's seen Supersize Me? Yay, good for you. Anybody write it on a prescription slip? You ought to. I do. This feels familiar. Now, of course, the first three letters in the word diet are die. So why would you want that? We just want you to have great recipes, be able to feed your patients, and be able to talk with them about food. Try writing a recipe on a prescription slip. If you haven't done that or you don't know what recipe to write, you can use one of mine. Go right ahead. Claim it as your own, that's okay with me. And finally, this is a time for connecting with friends and family in the kitchen and with each other. This is a time where in our country we need to kind of gather around the kitchen table and say, you know, what's for dinner? Thanks for your time.